So in this lecture, I am going to brief you about the review process and the basics of it. So we'll start with the definition of review. So it is nothing but an evaluation of a product or project status to find mistakes from planned result and to recommend improvements. So when you are doing a review, you have two objectives. So the first objective is to find mistakes and the second objective is to give any recommended improvements which is required for that particular document. So usually this review process will have certain activities within them. So for the first thing which you need to have is a document on which you will perform review activity. So first thing you will do is a evaluation of this document. While evaluating you have to find mistakes. And once you get certain mistakes then you have to communicate that with the team members so that those mistakes will be fixed. So this is a complete review process, getting a document, evaluating a document, finding mistakes and then communicating with the team member. Now moving towards the type of review. So broadly review is divided into two types. The first one is a formal reviews and the second one is a informal review. When we talk about formal review, formal review is categorized by following a defined process and having formal documented output. So as the name says formal review. So in this the steps will be defined. So first you have to do this step, second this step. So all the steps are defined here and also the document is uh, like the output is documented. So there will be a certain format in which you have to provide your output. So this is all about the formal review. When you come to the informal review, so it is characterized by not following a defined process and not having formal documented output. So it could be your friend who will do a review and he will just tell you by a verbal communication that these are the fault in this particular process. So this is a completely informal review. Whereas whatever defect we find in the formal review has to be documented properly. So this is about the formal review and informal review. Now moving towards the next topic that is the objective. So what is the objective of performing a review activity? So the first objective is finding defect as any other testing process. So here objective of review is also finding a defect. Coming to the second point that is gaining understanding. So when you are reading the document, you are understanding it. You have to discuss with your team member. So that way you will gain the understanding of that particular requirement or that particular document. And coming to the last objective of review is educating the participants. So there will be a review meeting or there will be a kickoff meeting where people will be educated regarding that particular document or regarding that particular features. So these are the objectives of review, finding defects, gaining understanding and educating the participants. And now let's see the last topic in this that is the review activity. So there are different activities in the review and what you have to understand here is in which order they are performed. So let's start with the first activity. So first you have to do a planning of your review. So how the review will be done, who will be the reviewer, which document has to be reviewed. So those all things will be coming under the planning stage. So once the planning stage is over, you will move to the second point that is kickoff. So here you may have a small meeting where you will decide what all documents are required for your review and you will start with your review process. So this is a kickoff stage. Coming to the third activity that is the individual preparation. So whoever has to do a review, what he will do is he will prepare, he will go through the documents, he will understand it and he will try to find the mistakes in those documents. So this is the third point. So first is planning, then kickoff and then is the individual preparation. Coming to the fourth point that is review meeting. So once the person is ready with his preparation then he will come to the review meeting. And after review meeting where it will be discussed what all mistakes are there and it will be given to the author who has written that particular document. Then the author will perform a rework on it and he will try to fix all the defects which was found in the review process. And once he is fixing it, then there will be a follow up process that whatever defect was found, 
is fixed or not so that will be coming under a follow up process so these are the six activities which we perform when we are doing a review so first is planning then is kick off meeting individual preparation review meetings rework and finally is the follow up process so that is it from this particular slide and i will see you with my next video until then happy testing